everybody and welcome back to Studio TV for another episode and we have today a fabulous guest here, a near and dear friend of mine who is another stager, she's a colleague and uh, she is coming up from Westchester County right now and her name is Susan Atwell and her company name is Atwell Stage Home, Staged Home. Do I pronounce that correctly? You got it. Yeah. If you take the T out, it's A Well Staged Home. All right. I love that. That is so cool. Thanks. That is really cool. So, uh, Susan, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Susan Atwell, president of AtwellStagedHome.com in Somers, New York, in northern Westchester. And home sellers and realtors hire me to reveal the hidden value in their home and to ignite buyer interest because as you know most home sellers they get totally overwhelmed by the process and they don't know where to start and they don't know what to do and they don't know how much to invest so I help show them how quick and economical and even fun it can be to showcase the beauty and character of their home. Uh, my goal for my clients, the bottom line is that I want my home sellers to sell high, sell fast, and not become stressed out messes during the selling process. And I think I've achieved that after 12 years in the business and well over $300 million in uh, real estate staged and having homes under a million dollars sell for as much as $100,000 over asking. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is really, really good. And and we know that staging makes such a big, big impact when people are selling their homes and it's just really can skyrocket um, their sales price. Thanks. It's it's always fun to see how things, you know, transform and they always surpass my expectations and my clients surpass my expectations many many times as well right so I give them a lot of credit for taking the advice so what type of properties do you mostly work on again mostly I focus on owner occupied homes mm -hmm. where people are living in the home while it's on the market and uh, I would say that the majority of my homes are just under a million dollars so uh, you know average homes uh, average families living in those homes while mm -hmm. they're on the market and occasionally you know I've, I've done the two million dollar you know homes but mostly I would say around million and below okay that's great let's explain to the audience why I have you here because like I think this is really cool what you and I have here because we have a a nice exactly. partnership because our company here is staging and interiors we focus on vacant properties and we do uh, even though we do vacant properties in the smaller price ranges, but most of our properties are in the luxury market and over a million dollars. However, I am receiving phone calls for occupied properties. Uh, we do do-it-yourself consultations, but um, if somebody looks for a little bit more in an occupied home, then we always recommend you to, that they get in contact with you. And you have also received many phone calls about vacant properties that is really our strength and have referred business back to us. So I think this is a great uh, synergy that we are having going on. I love this relationship because I love being able to refer to you the luxury vacant properties because I know that once they hire you you're going to do the most amazing job so so easy to refer you to my clients i mean i literally sell them on you <laughs> because i feel so strongly about not having an empty home and the services that you offer and i greatly appreciate the fact that you've referred uh, yeah. homes to me as well i know you have a very specific name for one of your systems and that's called stage to profit can you elaborate a little bit on that? Sure. Uh, stage to Profit starts with collaboration. It's a collaboration between the home seller and the stager. Uh, there's innovation. We try to come up with really creative solutions for how we can use what the homeowner already has. Also, 
we attempt to stage the home in a single working session and we always have to keep in mind that they need to live in their home while it's on the market so the home has to remain livable uh, we bring the level of the house up we show it to its best uh, all its best features we want to show the most potential because ultimately our goal is for our home sellers to profit greatly from the sale of their home hence the name uh, so and all of that comes together with you know rapid implementation with the client and always taking into account their skill set their time frame their uh, budget we ultimately have to meet people where they are and get their home sold as quickly as possible that's so, so. good and I think a lot of the th points that you just made are real concerns that home sellers have I think one and foremost is always the budget and I say don't look at it as a cost but look at it as an investment because in the end you will get the money back from the sale of your house NARS study shows that staged homes can sell for up to 20 percent more than unstaged homes and the Real Estate Staging Association study suggests that they sell approximately 86% faster. Selling faster also helps you with saving at the back end uh, in terms of taxes, mortgage costs, insurance, and all the other carrying costs. All right, so we have here a couple of photos that we are showing you. And that shows us a before picture and an after picture of the work that you have been doing. Can you tell us what's going on here? Right, well, I love this example, and I call this my COVID consultation, because at the beginning of COVID, we decided to start offering virtual mm -hmm. consultations online through Zoom. And these home sellers, they were totally successful with this, uh, great results. And it was just like, it was really no different than any other home staging consultation. The home was about 2,400 square feet, and we spent three hours online, which is about what I would expect for a home of that size. Uh, it was great because they painted, they cleaned, they rearranged furniture, they took down window treatments, they purchased some soft items like pillows, anything that they could get where they didn't have to go to a store. Um, and then after they did all the work, I came back just because we're, by then we were able to go in and I spent about two hours there just putting everything just in the right place. Those they just did no, right? Yeah, they just did such an amazing job. I yeah. was blown away with all of the work, moving things around. And, uh, and again, a great success. The results are that they had multiple offers within the first two days wow. of listing. That's great. And the, the neat thing about this one is, you know, we took down the window treatments and I think the only thing they purchased were two pillows wow. for this room. The painting is huge. Painting is always a huge, oh, yeah. a huge thing. But I think the reason these clients were so successful is like, they called me first. Yes. Before they did anything. And before they even got into discussions like, oh, well, I think we should do this and I think we should do that. And, and sometimes, you know, it's great to just have that person come in and says, you know, this is what you should do and explains why. And so right. then they just had a plan and they moved forward with it yeah. and they implemented everything I suggested. They were amazing. Yeah. And that's the beauty. Like when you have a, have a consultation, the clients get the blueprint of what to do. They can focus. They don't have to second guess themselves anymore. Oh, should I remove it or shouldn't I remove it? Or should I put it here or should I put it there? It's like there is no second guessing. You have a clear path to success without having to venture out and do other things that you're not sure about. And it is a time saver. It absolutely helps you to get it most efficiently and quickest done to get it on the market. Right, and the faster you can sell, generally the higher price you're gonna get. So not just a time saver, but a money maker. Right. So it all comes together. Yeah. So Susan, how do you deal, like if you come to a home and you find a lot of furniture and decor 
completely outdated. You know, I get this question a lot. And people say to me, you know, well, what if you go into the house and there's this really awful sofa, like, you know, you can't use it. Yeah. And what I tease them, I, I say to them, you know, if I walked into a room and the first thing I saw was the sofa, then it's probably in the wrong place. So the first thing we always have to start with is furniture placement and flow mm -hmm. and really starting to show off the features of the house. Uh, eliminating distractions, editing things down, because you know we really want people to focus on the uh, house and not the contents. So the best thing is to just get started and start using the items that are already there. Because if I tried to do an evaluation before trying to use and exhaust all the resources in the room, I'm going to think it's going to take a lot longer going to need a lot more and there's so many times I get to the end and it's like wow you know we really don't need that much stuff anymore but where people tend to go wrong with this is they think oh I'll just get some pillows and put them on that sofa that's in the wrong place <laughs> and right. so it's not that easy we yeah. make it sound easy you and I yeah. do it every day and we can see where yeah. things should actually be so you know the most important thing is that uh, getting a consultation and at least starting with that so you have a plan and you can get those nuances so things are placed properly you know for the best flow the best uh, look the best feel from the potential buyers coming in yeah and I think it is so important that they call you before starting to work on it if they can get me in sooner I always say it costs just as much money to paint the wrong color as it does to paint, you know, oh, right. a pleasing and appealing color yeah. that's going to sell. And generally, I won't ask clients to paint if they've already made that huge investment. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Call Susan before you start and get your home ready for sale. So anything else that you would like to share? Um, well, I think we've kind of covered this a little bit, but I think it's important for the, you know, potential home sellers to understand that Staging comes in different flavors, different shapes and sizes. Yes. And a lot of them understand the, the do-it-yourself, the DIY aspect. And I think they understand the do-it-for-you or the full-service mm -hmm. staging. But the sweet spot, my sp sweet spot, is the do-it-with-you mm -hmm. approach. And I think for most home sellers, that's really a great spot for them. That's their sweet spot as well. Yeah. So if they can understand that, we can do it with you and there isn't anyone who can't afford a few hours of consulting time and they get all the years of experience and you know they get to yes. basically borrow my brain yes yeah and they can't put a price tag high enough towards that experience thank that you. you have and bring to the table thank so. you so much I appreciate that <laughs> so if somebody wants to reach out to you Susan how can they reach you Yes, so my website is at wellstagedhome.com, but if folks would like to learn a little bit more about my processes and get some free resources, uh, if they go to fasterwaytostage.com, fasterwaytostage.com, they can, again, get free resources and uh, lots of help for helping them, uh, you know, put their homes together for sale and preparing them for sale. That's so great. Thank you, Susan, so much for coming, and it was such a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's been a blast. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. So, everybody, don't forget to tune in again next week. We will be live again at 2.30 on Wednesdays every week, and we'll see you there. And don't forget, we have, like, a switch in our trivia approach, so stay tuned for that new approach and we will be launching that uh, in hopefully next week thank you so much and i will see you soon